Right, this is what I like to do while air, air terror refueling. So here I loaded up the default JF-17 mission on an IELTS uh, 78M air refueler. It's a basket tank refueler. And generally I like to try to match my airspeed with the IL-76 uh, when you when you start. So I can go lock it up. So I went set into uh, dogfight mode and I can uh, lock onto that tanker really quickly centering the view alright so one cool tip on catching up with the tanker I like to use in all sorts of ways it's like the one tenth I, I say it's like the matching the numbers I'd like to say so if I'm going if I'm at 0 0.8 nautical miles I set my closure rate to 80 knots if I'm at 0 0.7, my closure rate should be 70 knots. And I like to do that. All right, now we're going down to 60, and then it just keeps going down. So I'm at 0 0.5, I'm over speed by 10 knots. Slow down to 5 knots. And might as well, I just go set up my uh, air, air refueling probe. That's that. And I can set up a light right here. Uh, it's called. Uh, all right, let me just set that to bright if you're doing it at night. Okay, I'm at 0 0.3 nautical miles. I should speed up to 30 when I'm at 7. Okay, 24 knots. It's really hard to control the throttle in the JF-17 because it's so, like, uh, unresponsive. Okay, so I'm just trying to find a balance with my crappy Extreme 3D Pro throttle right here and I am really fast in. So I'm going to try to slow down a bit. We can contact the tanker. And I'm going minus on the knots. Alright, so I can go up to a maximum of 10 knots. I'm going to try to keep it that way. So I'm accelerating quite rapidly. I want to slow down a bit. And the response of the of the throttle is just awful. So right here, I'm using now. I just defaulting to the my number pad. My number pad has a plus and a minus key. I'm gonna try to keep it within one or two knots when closing. It will take a long time, but it's worth it because the con controlling the throttle on the JF-17 is so difficult. It's a lot uh, easier on the F-18 or AV8B where the throttle is pretty much instant. Step it up one, try to get it into the positives. That's too fast. Look at that. Four knots. And it's continuing to accelerate. It's decelerating rapidly up to See if that's enough, and it's still decelerating up three. Okay, now numbers are climbing quite quickly, so I'm gonna go down one, down two, up one because it went down to one knot closure, zero knot closure, and the tanker's turning. That doesn't really help. This is Again, because the rate of closure is really darn fast. 
down one again because we're at zero. Two down. Try to get into the neutral position, and we're still closing. No good. We're now now in the trying to speed up before it's too, before it disconnects. Ah, oh, it's not going up three. No good. Down, down again. Closure is too fast. Again, up. Down again. Up. Now we're backing away from the tanker. And you just want to keep it to the number pad increments up. So I try not to maintain a negative closure. And we're at 47,000 pounds. Uh, five, five tons, right there. Okay, now we get done. And that's it. All right, we got an NPRS ahead of us. This one is called Arco. Let's see if we can contact Arco. Start off with locking up the tanker as well. Center my view. And I'm going to come up on the tanker right here. Okay, now we're coming up on it. This is 50 knots closure, one mile. Uh, so I can close up to 100 knots if we learned anything from the one to one rule or whatever you want to call it. So I'm at 0 0.9, I can go up to V closure. 90 knots. Okay, and then I'm at E, not 70. I'm trying to reduce my closure, try to be below that. So 60, not go to 50. 40 knots closing. At 30 knots, I can speed up a little. Twenty knots. Just inch up a bit, a bit more. And unlike the JF-17, this time it won't give you like the uh, small number closures. So you're gonna have to mostly eyeball it. You'd think this is harder, but uh, F-18 throttle is really good, in my opinion. Right. Closing in twenty knots. Three miles. Now thirty knots. That's Bit. Okay, and I'm gonna resort to tiny throttle increments on my number pan. Okay, now this should be pretty good. Let's see if we can get the guy to drop the basket. And okay, now I'm gonna resort to manual control here on the my number pad. Try to get my closure under not 10 knots. Okay, 320 is pretty good, it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to call out my throttle movements. Okay, so I'm at 319, up 2, down 1, down 2, and I'm speeding up way too fast. Here, down one more. That's pretty good. And that's pretty good right there. Okay, now I'm... And one of the errors I did here was I moved the, the stick forward and back. You do not want to do this. It makes it really hard. So you just want to mainly focus on roll. That's what I like to do. I'm going to speed up a little bit. One, up one, down one, up one again. Try to inch it in. And then down one, try to stabilize it right here. Up one again, down one. Try to hold it right here and just only use a roll. Don't don't push forward, don't push back, or you're going to lose it. And I can do this for pretty much ever. 
Count one. Closing is too fast. Let's take a look at my fuel gauge. Twelve thousand. Okay, that's pretty good. Report rejoin. Set that. Harrier doesn't have a radar. Right? Yeah, I know where the tanker is. It's probably above me. I'm gonna go. From the last time, we know it's around 317. So I'm gonna speed up to that, and this is going to be Arco. I'm gonna go talk to the tanker. Arco, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna try to creep up on this guy. Don't know the range though. You can use a tank and yardstick to find out. I'm not gonna bother with that. And down two. I'm gonna just go manual control on this. Try to slow myself down. And the thing is, without a track IR, it's really hard for to do it on the Harrier because the, the fuel probe is way out left. You can't actually see it. So it'll help. Overshot. Well, up two. Up three, down one. Okay, now. Up one. Down one. This is three, two, seven. Try to keep it there. Up one. Down one. Up one. Down one. difficult with the Harrier because the field prob probe is so far from the cockpit. Down two, up one. Slightly tapping the notepad. Up one, down one. And that'd be pretty good. 7,400 pounds. It's pretty much our capacity. 